Welcome, everybody, to Talk Box with Tony Choi, where studio happens. Talk Box is the podcast that's here to shed light into the darkness of these intense times. Tony Choi is a Grammy nominated musician, a producer, bass player, genre creator, and all around industry expert. His musical contributions include, for my metalheads out there, Cynic, Pestilence, atheist he's also been in a very popular grammy nominated band called area 305 and uh, he has another project a little known project as far as i can tell called synchronicity we'll talk to him about that later uh he uh he, he comes from a florida progressive death metal uh to miami-based latin pop high-end studio producer tony is always at the forefront of innovation in the music industry transcending genres so thank you for tuning in uh thank you for joining the conversation with us enjoy uh interviews with musicians and metalheads tour stories studio happenings and all things music industry here's your host tony Choi. tony how you doing oh uh, wow brian what an incredible presentation there an introduction i couldn't be a more blessed happy grateful excited i mean about this new venture that um uh, truth be told, I mean, uh, in 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 as 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 I could as I could say truly say is uh, the way that all of this happened was uh, I hit you up from a from a from, from from a like or I think it was a request or something like that on IG and uh, and then I saw kind of your your biography discography as it is and. Uh, I was like, wow, you know, this is exactly what I've had in mind for for quite a while now since I've been keeping up with the Joneses with all these podcasters and, uh, you know, Joe Rogan being one of my favorites um, um, host uh, of the platform of the moving of the moving platform so rapidly that it's gotten a world recognition, um, you know, Spotify. Uh, it's just blown it completely out of the water and uh, and it's just been, you know, catching, you know, every every day. I mean, I mean, you think about all these podcasters that are coming out on a daily basis and Brian, you being one of the pioneers of this uh, platform, uh, at what, 12 years in the making right now, uh, be, uh, you know, with 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 your own with your own creation and and moving uh so so nevertheless thank you so much Brian for giving me this opportunity uh as we spoke um uh right before right before this presentation is uh you know I'm kind of taking taking uh taking your lead and uh you're my mentor and and pretty much uh uh what can I say I'm I'm really happy um nevertheless uh yes podcast um the presentation of this of this show, um, it, it came about of me uh, shedding light into the darkness, as you said. You know, I, I wanted to um, pretty much, you know, give a twist of 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 positiveness into everything, everything about life, everything about what's happening today. You know, um, encouraging people. You know, living in your conscious life. You know, uh, so many things are are keep keep us from moving forward. Um, you know, and then we'll, we'll get into, in, into that stuff, uh, a, a little bit further, but, um, so I, I know you had a couple questions, uh, well, some questions for me, so fire away. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited, Tony. I'm so glad to, uh, start this podcast with you and, and help you get into the podcasting streams because you're right. It's, uh, you know, podcasting is everything right now people are turning away from all kinds of mainstream productions right now because uh the mainstream is really not doing very well and people are much more interested in um honest people that they can relate to so we're in the right place i'm very happy to be here with you and uh you know when you when when we first met um what happened there was uh, i had just been down in austin texas I saw my last concert uh, in in late 2019 before the you know the Corona thing hit and all the concerts got shut down and I was blessed to finally see Atheist uh, down there in Austin, Texas with cattle decapitation. What an amazing show! 
And um, I ran into Kelly Schaefer down there and uh, we hung out with Kelly Schaefer for a bit. And a couple days later, uh, I see on Kelly Schaefer's Instagram a picture of him and Tony Choi. And I thought, oh, my God, I haven't seen Tony Choi in years. He's, he's been the bass player in some of my favorite bands. I mean, Cynic, Atheist, Pestilence, those were like three staples for me when I was growing up. And I guess I didn't grow up because they still are staples for me. But uh, yeah, that was kind of how we we connected. And uh, I asked you later, I've turned out Kelly didn't even like I figured Kelly had told you about me because I told him I was a podcaster. So I kind of figured that might be like I had gotten a, a recommendation or something. But no, it was pure synchronicity that I liked that photo and added you as, as, as a follow. And uh, and then you looked at my description and realized what I was doing. And that was how we connected. So um, big synchronicity right there. Right, Tony? That's right. And, 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 and you said a mouthful again, uh, you know, everything about uh, everything about what we're doing is about synchronicity. I believe so. And thank you for that book that you sent me, by the way, uh, that that, you know, I'm I'm kind of processing it. And uh, there's a lot of tasty things in there. Very meaty. Um, uh, talking about Kelly, he has his own podcast as well. Uh, I, th I believe that is with Jurgen. Um, I, I was on it. He invited me on the podcast one time. So he interviewed me and it was quite fun. And, uh, we went through kind of down memory lane as, as we usually do with these interviews, you know, especially being in the business for, uh, myself, uh, being in the business for over 30 years now. And, and, um, uh, I'm, I'm always going to be a metal head at heart. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a true metal. I wouldn't say aficionado anymore because I don't keep up with, with, with the genre as much, but I am still active, proactive. And, uh, I've done quite a couple records and in the, in the process of doing some other records, uh, I did one for uh, Verocious Scourge. Uh, which just came out right now. Um, James Murphy's on it. Andy LaRock is on it. Um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, my God, Mike Smith, of course. You know, my Michael, my my brother, uh, and, and and just an amazing drummer, musician, one of the pioneers of the blast beat. You know, I I think that he pretty much set the pace for a lot of uh, a lot of drummers out there. I call that the school of suffocation. That's right. The school of suffocation. So, um, you know, a, a big what's up to my brother, Michael, um, and, uh, Verocious Scourge, uh, you know, Jason out there as well, uh, did an, an amazing record. I think that, uh, and thank you for him for, uh, inviting me to do this record and, uh, uh, and, and letting be, letting me be me, you know, cause, uh, a lot of these, a lot of, uh, Sibnatic out of, uh, UK, I'm, I'm in the process of, uh, of doing, um, John Knight, uh, as well. The vocalist, he gave me a great opportunity. And, and, and it's a question that I ask a lot of these bands is like, uh, so what is exactly you want me to do? And they, and they right off the bat, they're like, just be you. We want Tony, you know, we want Tony Choi. And I said, are you sure about that? <laughs> you, know, because, you know, I could I could go a little bit out there and uh, but they're like, listen, just just do what you do and, and, and we'll be fine. So um, uh, I, I I'm also doing uh, another project right now, which is like world. Everybody's everybody's getting involved right now. Uh, Derek Roddy just got involved. Alex Marquez. I got Alex Marquez to play in a song with me that Andy LaRock is playing with us as well, which is a childhood dream. I mean, I mean. I remember I used to go to King Diamond shows and, and you know, and watch Andy and, and, and the whole, you know, the whole King crew and, and uh, you know, and now I'm, I'm actually on the record. Uh, it's a metal against the coronavirus. Uh, you're going to see it pretty soon out there. I mean, it's got superstars on the record. And um, and um, Jordy um, is, is, is the pretty much the, he's spearheading this whole, this whole uh, contribution to, to you know to this whole pandemic and 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 the things that that have happened and uh you know um you know just to be just to be transparent you know i i <laughs> i got the coronavirus you know i went through it you know a, a lot of people don't know that and uh you know um but i'm fine i'm completely you know healed and cleared 
uh, you know, quote unquote, you know, on paper. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, um, uh, everything is, but, but I did, I did experience that. And, and I tell people, um, it wasn't nice. It, it, it wasn't nice. It was brutal as brutal as brutal can be, you know? And, um, I, I ask everybody to please be safe, keep your family safe. And, um, you know, so that is, I, I, that is the light into the darkness. You know, I, I did go through some darkness at, at the moment where I, I was like, wow, this is, uh, this is pretty, this, this, this is real, you know, cause I mean, you know, a lot of people, uh, get a little bit ignorant about it because, you know, you know, and, and even to a point that you, you get kind of, you know, you make jokes about it and things like that. And, and, uh, you know, I, I, um, I'm, I'm guilty as charged. I, I'm, you know, I'm being transparent as possible as I could be, but, uh, this is no joke. You know, this is, this is real stuff. And, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, hidden agendas and we, we all know the things that, that, that go on with, with, with all the, 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 the possibilities and, 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 you know, everybody's, you know, pr- true purpose on, on, on what these, these things can be, but, but it, it is an actual situation that's happening right now, you know, uh, worldwide and, uh, and we, and we do need to be careful. So, um, that said, uh, Brian, go ahead and, uh, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, stop me anytime and, and, you know, kind of fill in, uh, with, with the questions that you had in mind. Okay, excellent. Well, you know, that's a that's a good segue into what I was thinking about here, because oddly enough, even in uh, last year, when you approached me about the project, uh, you told me you wanted to do something to shed light into the darkness. And I really liked that because uh, on some of the, the broadcasts that I do, we get really into the what they call the black pill, you know, not a red pill, not a blue pill. It's like, oh, there is some really bad stuff going on. So I've been focusing on what you were just referring to, a lot of the uh, the reactions to the situation and the ways in which uh, some unsavory forces have been trying to uh, make gains out of it, you know, sort of uh, that aspect of it. So I'm very pleased to be here um, and, and looking at ways to make things better, even if that's just entertaining people on this show, shed a little bit of light into the darkness. Um, so I think that's a, a really good concept. And when you first talked to me about it, you talked about navigating out of discouragement and blossoming encouragement. So uh, I, I think that's something worth underlining for uh, all the new listeners and viewers out there. Thank you for joining us here for this inaugural edition of talk box with tony Choi. so so tony um tell us a little bit about that like what is it about tony Choi that is so positive i mean i've known you long enough now to know that uh you know the the world has gotten way darker since we originally came up with uh the concept for this show so talk about your concept and how it fits into what's going on right now because i think now is an important time for talk box with Tony Choi to help people navigate out of discouragement and have that glass half full perspective. And I love the fact that the show's not just all about Tony Choi, you know, this show, um, we can get into that, but we'll, it's going to be about everyone. And we want to have a bit of an open platform here for, for guests and audience and all of that. But talk a little bit about what it is inside you that always, even when you got the Corona, man, I talked to you briefly, even when you were sick, I've talked to you um, after the the tragic loss of uh, Sean Reinert, and you always have that glass half full perspective, and that's something that I really appreciate about you, and something that I I really hope that the audience can uh, benefit from. Absolutely, you know, and 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 I've always said, and and if I didn't thank the audience as as you have already many times, uh, please thank you so so very much. Uh, I know that I'm I'm very grateful. And, and I'm going to talk about that, I, the, the true transformation be, behind Tony Choi and what has brought me to this point of my life. And uh, but thank you to everybody that's tuning in. Thank you so much. I, I really hope that everybody takes something with them after each and every show that I do with Brian and Talkbox. You know, it's just basically, you know, pretty much self 
self-medicating, uh, uh, I guess, self-therapy, you know, because uh, truth be told, I talk to myself all the time <laughs> in the mirror. Uh, you know, I self-motivate myself. Um, I, I, I do a lot of things to control my mind, you know, control my mind because, I mean, in a situation like coronavirus, you know, um, and, 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 and guys, uh, you know, everybody out there in, 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 in podcast land, uh, I went through it with a three-year-old, with my three-year-old right next to me. And uh, the whole time I was praying, God, please don't let my little boy get this, you know. And, uh, and, and by the grace of God, you know, um, and, um, and, and I say God because he has everything to do with it. And, uh, you know, and we'll get into that in, in just a little bit about my, my beliefs and my faith, you know, uh, non-religious, you know, it's, it has nothing to do with religion. You know, it's a mindset, it's a belief system that I, I, I proudly carry in my heart and in my spirit. And uh, I'm here to share it with everybody and everybody. It's no hidden factor. Everybody who knows Tony Choi knows that he is a man of faith, you know, so uh, there is no there's no hidden agenda with that, you know, so but but, um, you know, and I tell everybody, you know, I'm still under construction, you know. I, I, I am a work in progress. You know, I always tell everybody, you know, I, I, I'm an imperfect soldier, you know, so uh, I'm still building rooms. I'm still adding furniture. I'm still taking furniture out. You know, I'm still doing housekeeping, you know, uh, you know, still diversifying. I'm still doing some so many things to reshaping myself. And uh, and at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, I I. Uh, I try to be a man of order, you know, as much order as I could have in my life, you know, discipline in a man's life. Listen, if a man's mind is not right, his world is not right, you know? So that's something that I really, uh, as a father, I'm a father first, you know, my kids are everything to me and, um, you know, and, uh, and I move on principle, you know, I move on principle and, uh, I think, um, uh, and first, and foremost, gratitude, everybody, gratitude. You know, the first thing, you know, uh, you know, I wake up every day at 6.30 a.m. on the dot, you know, and I don't even set uh, an alarm. It's just I have an alarm in my system, you know, and I wake up every day, uh, sometimes even, you know, I have to force myself to go back to sleep because, you know, uh, you know, th being so proactive and, and trying to, you know, I, I'm just, man, I, I try to, to, to soak up every day. I, I wake up with excitement. Ah, today's a new day. How can I make this, this day better? You know? So, um, and once again, you know, gratitude, um, you know, you know, we have a, you know, we're creatures of habit, you know, you know, and, uh, and that is a good habit to have, you know, yeah. uh, at least three things, at least three, have a notebook, a composition book, a piece of paper, uh, a pen and paper, a composition, what, whatever, it, it, writing utensil and, 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 and writing a tool that you have, have it next to your bed as soon as you wake up, at least three things that you are gra uh, grateful for, you know? And, yeah. and, 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 um, and I think that's a good start to your morning. Oh man, that's that's great advice, especially right now, because right now what a lot of people do is they roll out of bed and I'm guilty of this too. I've done this and uh, I, I have lots of excuses. None of them are good, um, but a lot of people get out of bed and they pick up the uh, the old black mirror, the iPhone or the Android, whatever smartphone device they have, and they start swiping through the the news feeds and the social media feeds, which are complete toxic sludge right now so it's really easy and a lot of people are stuck in this right now it's almost like a um a pavlovian feedback loop of uh doing things like that and then you start your day guess what in an outrage instead of with gratitude so i mean this is uh i'm glad you brought up mindset and gratitude because i think um that really is a great place to start because uh, there's a lot of people out there right now man who are are waking up and jumping straight into the the streams of outrage and that sets the tone for their day and uh 
I think people can really learn a lot by taking some of your advice here, you know, and, and maybe just um, simplifying their life a little bit and pulling themselves out of some of these outrage streams. So I think that's that's a really good advice for maybe a paradigm change, you know, because that was one of the other things that we spoke about that I thought was great was um, you you want to create paradigm changes for listeners and um, encourage listeners to not only do that for themselves, but to big up other people's lives, too. So, I, I, you know, I, I just want to let you know I'm today. My gratitude is uh, at Tony Choi, Tony Choi Music and uh, the Talk Box podcast that we're launching today. Uh, absolutely. And mine, 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 too. I, I'm uh I'm right there with you. I second that motion. And, and you, you said it again, another, I mean, uh, the way that you, your verbiage and the way that, that you communicate, the, the, you're a communicator by, by nature, you know, by default, like I've always said, you know, toxicity is game one right now, you know, game one. And, uh, and as you said, you know, uh, Wayne Dyer, uh, I'm 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 getting in, into a lot of his stuff right now, and and Wayne Dyer said said it, you know, be open minded to everything, but attached to nothing, you know, and uh, you know, uh, and a lot of people are, are are get offended by so many things, including ourselves. We we we, we you you go about your day. You he's you know, and he said it very very correctly. There's hundreds of things that as soon as we walk out the door, we get offended by, you know, I mean, some of them, some people, you know, cry out loud about it. Some people stay quiet about it and then, you know, scream about it in, in, in their, you know, behind closed doors. I mean, but, but, um, you know, there, 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 there is like, I always tell people, you know, and, and it's not coming directly from me. These are things that as I talked about it in, in the beginning is transformation. It's a work in progress. You know, I, I believe in the process system, you know, you know, you know, you concentrate on process, on, on progress, not perfection, you know, and, uh, and I've always told people, you know, we are in a process right now, even today's life. You know, right now we are in a process to get rid of this stuff that is killing us, basically killing everything. This COVID-19 killing us in in its totality. I'm talking about ec- economic wise. I'm talking about physically, mentally, spiritually. I mean, I mean, everything to do with um, your belief system. You know, uh, and uh, oh, is it gonna? Uh, are we gonna get a cure? Oh, we're not gonna get a cure. Are we gonna get through this? Oh, we know we'll get that. It's, a, it's just a constant battle of a belief system, you know. And um, oh, don't worry, you get the positive people. Oh, we're gonna get through this, you know. Then you get the negative people. Oh man, this is this is we're we're we're, we're screwed, man. Uh, this is over. The, you know, our lives are over, and and it's just like. You know, so I think individuality, you know, I think between everybody, um, uh, you have to really be a standalone um, entity, you know, and, and, and just have have your belief system in, in the positive needle set. You know, it's like, you know, what, what are you running on full or on empty? You know what I'm saying? So um, that's just basically. And once again, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, that's why. We have a podcast. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's yeah. why many people have, you know, th- thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of podcasts now because they have something to say, you know, and it's their opinion. You know, it's not necessarily I don't I don't, you know, disrespect or, 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 or you know, take it in offense. There you go. There's the offensive part, you know, because a lot of people might listen to them the podcast and be get offended by it. You know, I don't, I, you know, I don't believe in, in what he's saying. Then you know what, then don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, exactly. You know, honestly, like, like I said, I'm just being honest or maybe, maybe, um, there's a topic that, you know, that's why be open-minded to everything and be attached to nothing. Does that make sense? Absolutely, man. I often reference one of uh, my influences, early influences in broadcasting, which is a man named William Cooper. 
And he used to have a saying, he repeated it often. He would say, folks, look at everything, listen to everything, have an open mind, do your own research, and for God's sake, make up your own mind. And I think that's something that uh, we could all benefit from because right now, I don't mean any offense to anyone who's contracted coronavirus, but I would say in my personal observations that the mainstream media is the worst virus that we might be facing right now and or the Fortune 500 and and elements of uh, government and NGOs. I mean, there's so much stuff, so much division being preached by these entities. So, uh, I, you know, that's that's kind of my hope in shedding light into the darkness is that we can remove some of the reactiveness, some of the outrage, uh, instill a little bit of common sense and uh, remove trigger trigger phrases and trigger words so that we can start communicating with each other again. Because the worst thing about all this that I'm seeing is the the detrimental effects inside of people's um, immediate friend and family circles. I've heard so many stories from listeners who say they have friends, the best friends they've known for their whole lives who now will not talk to them anymore because they hold different opinions about the reaction to coronavirus and or the realities of coronavirus. So I just think that, you know, that's the worst thing that we can have right now at this point in our country. And it's not just our country, it's worldwide. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's my excitement when it comes to uh, what we're doing here. I, I really think we're um, on the same page when it comes to what we would like to impart uh, to the listeners with regards to shedding light into the darkness. Yeah, not only that, I mean, uh, uh, besides just the added feature of, you know, of, of, of you know, getting this virus, you know, um, you, you, you talk about families kind of casting you out and things like that because of constant fear. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I mean, I, you know, truth be told, you know, a, a lot of people have you get stigmatized you know you, you there's a stigma with uh you know i understand safety and all that but once it, that's why it's such a touchy subject to tell somebody to actually which i i, I don't care you know i'm gonna tell you because you know it, it's it's you know i want to be transparent about something like that you know and, and uh but there's families that they don't let you back in in the circle you know it's like you know you're out of the family circle, like um, uh, what, what's that movie called? I forgot right now. But um, um, nevertheless, um, and and there's uh, and I understand that you know, and there's businesses. Uh, I mean, I uh, the mandatory part of of businesses screening. That's that's I think that's very correct, you know, and uh, and that should you know that should be you know that 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 has a good effect. But you know what? Let's kind of let's kind of change gears right now. And, uh, I think that, that we've shared a, a great, a great part of, of, of our show of, of the opinion of, to this. And, uh, you know, I, I think that in, in, in the time to come, um, it's not going anywhere soon. So, yeah. so, so, you know, so I'm yeah. sure that we'll, we'll touch this subject. Uh, you know, let, let's kind of gear up to, um, real quick, um, to, to music, which is the, the, the always the, the positive, there's nothing more positive than than there's no there's no more there there's not not anything more light a, into the darkness than 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 sharing music. So um yeah, uh, I I, I want to talk a little bit about that uh, if you don't mind, Brian. I I want to I want to kind of discuss the 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 kind of the journey. Uh, let's start by that Nevermore shirt that you're wearing and um and the big um you know rest in peace to uh, one of the greatest uh, vocalists um, for for the metal genre uh, what what a uh, and an, and an incredible incredible person a great guy I'm, I I had the the the, the honor and, uh, and and blessing to meet him uh, twice in my in my lifetime uh, right now um, um, and uh, and that was uh one time with with um, you know, with well, let's 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 say his name, Mr. Worrell Dane. Um, just um, w what can I say about Worrell? I mean, uh, I met him with Sanctuary when I was uh, yay big. I was a 14 year old little runt, 
little metal kid just cha- chasing around metal bands and uh, waiting backstage to meet them and and you know get whatever I could get a pick or a drumstick and uh, you know and I met Whirl. Um, uh, I think it was back in the eighty. I think it was eighty seven or eighty eight, and um, a, at the Cameo Theater uh, in Miami, Florida, Miami Beach, Florida. But um, um, World was super cool, and then I met him and performing with Pestilence and um, and uh, the guitar player. Um, if if you could help me out with uh, with his name, the guitar player's uh- name. Jeff Loomis. Uh, yes, Jeff yeah. Loomis uh, actually came up to me because he was a big Cynic fan. And he's like, hey, Tony. I was like, uh, I looked back to see if there was another Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, me? And he's like, you're Tony Choi, right? And I'm like, I, I am. And he was like, oh, man, I love your playing and I love Cynic. And I was like, oh, my Lord. And Warhol was right there, you know, and I was like, I was like this fan, you know, fanboy, you know, like looking at World, looking at Jeff. I was like, oh my lord, you know, this Nevermore, uh, um, Nevermore was the headlining band for this festival uh, in Holland uh, with uh, with Pestilence, and um, and we we did uh, like a semi headlining type thing, but uh, that was the the the. the the most incredible experience. And he's like, Hey, he actually, Jeff actually said to world, Hey, this is Tony, you know, from, from cynic, you know, that I was like, Oh my Lord. I was like, this is, this has to be the hot, one of the, the, the pinnacle, the highlights of my life, you know? So amazing. So, uh, uh, pretty, pretty great experiences with, with, with that. And, and his passing was, was shocking. You know, when I heard about that and, and it was almost like a like a tidal wave of metal, metal heroes falling, falling yeah. heroes, you yeah. know, um, and and uh, it was just one after the other, you know, boom, 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 boom. Like they were just like I was like, what is going on? You know, for, for, for a moment there, I was like, well, so um, so anyways, you know. World, wherever you are, um, you know, we miss you and uh, we, you know, we miss your singing. We miss your music. And um, what can I say? What can we say? I mean, if I, I hate it when people ask me what my favorite this or that is, I'm the worst person to ask that to. I'll, I'll make a list for you what my favorite this or that is in, in metal. But if someone were to really, you know, put a gun to my head and say, who's your favorite metal singer? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Rob Halford. Um, sorry. Uh, everybody, but I think I would probably say Warl Dane. I, I saw Nevermore so many times. I used to follow them when they toured with Opeth uh, in California. I went to LA, San Jose, and San Francisco, I believe, and I've never had a better time in my life. I'm just the hugest Nevermore fan. I had uh, Jim Shepard, the bass player of Nevermore and Sanctuary, on one of my other podcasts uh, late last year. He's a really interesting cat. We, sh- we should uh, maybe get him on TalkBox one of these days, Tony. So um, we are going to be doing that, right? We're going we're gonna to get some uh, music industry colleagues into the studio with you, and we'll be interviewing some, uh, some musicians, right, across genres here in the TalkBox coming up. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it couldn't be a TalkBox studio happens, uh, and we're going to uh, navigate as as we go on with with the podcast and and we get the listeners to uh, we really encourage you guys to to you know listen and 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 give us your give us your take and uh, I would love for you know I'm I'm sure that with the platform we're gonna have capability of uh, of getting people uh, I I don't know if we're gonna. Uh, get like callers or if, if we even have that capability, but, uh, definitely invites, um, I'm gonna reach out to the best of the best and, uh, in the genre and many genres for that is even, even top, uh, multi Latin Grammy producers where you guys can, they, they have, you know, amazing, amazing engineers, um, you know, speaking about Grammys, you know, uh, uh, last, uh, well, 2018, um, we're just getting right now, uh, we just hit the billion 
plays on Spotify for one of the songs that I produce. Uh, it's a it's a it's a mainstream song from a, 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 an artist called Jay Balvin and Willie William, which is a, an amazing brother, amazing friend, a musical musical brother uh, over uh, from Paris, from France, and uh, he gave me the opportunity of producing his vocals on this track that till date has over 3 billion views on YouTube and just got uh just got their um their award for 1 billion plays on Spotify and uh and wow. I received uh, a Grammy nomination Latin Grammy nomination for that and uh we're in prayer right now uh we believe that we got through another artist uh, I won't mention that yet but uh I have a, a third Grammy nomination coming through, so so I'm very excited about that. We we will get to that. I'll, I'll probably bring it over here to Talkbox so you guys can 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 enjoy it with me because you know at the end of the day, it, you know we do this too, not just for us to 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 give talk about what we feel, but we also want you guys to enjoy what we're talking about and uh, and get into it and. And pretty much make make this is entertainment, you know. At the end of the day, this is entertainment. Whether we talk, we sing, we dance, we we play, we instruments, you know. Uh, this is entertainment, you know. So I, I really hope that that you guys are entertained and uh, and you're getting you're 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 taking something with you. As I said in the beginning, yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited about it too, Tony. And uh, for uh, yeah, we will definitely be able to take callers, and we're gonna set up. Um, uh, you know, a community area for the listeners. So we're, we're working on a lot of stuff in the background, everybody, as we launch the show. But uh, the most important thing is launching the show and starting. And I'm so pleased that we've done that today. So um, as we progress forward, we'll start releasing the, uh, the social media sites for it and any of the uh, collaboration areas, all the kind of platform uh, platforming that we're thinking about, letting uh, the listeners enjoy and uh, viewers. I got to get used to saying viewers because I'm pretty much used to doing audio podcasts. I'm really excited to be on camera here with Mr. Tony Choi in the talk box. Uh, <laughs> that's right. And 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 uh, you know, I know that 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 we're almost wrapping it up here. So I I want to add that we will have our own Instagram page, you know. So and uh, also Facebook page. So Brian, uh, me and Brian are going to construct that and we're going to make it super cool, super cutting edge. I have an amazing team here that uh, that's that does just great, great work and uh, we'll make it really, really fun for everybody to engage and be be a part of Talkbox, you know, be inside the Talkbox with us. And uh, and you're going to see the 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 logo and stuff it, It's super, super cool. You guys are, are going to love it. Let me let me add one last thing, because this is coming out really soon. And I just got a quote added to um, base players, base player magazine. Let me let, let me hold it up here uh, because I'm super, super stoked and proud about this. And and just to get the, the opportunity, uh, this is this is another uh, childhood dream come true. I've been already on two issues of Bass Player Magazine, and um, and uh, you know I was this kid that that had posters on the wall and Steve Harris and 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 Geezer Butler and this and that and blah 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 and Blackie Lawless and yeah. I mean, you know at the end of the day, I, I mean Tom Araya, uh, you know. Uh, Cliff Burton, of course. I mean, my God, you know that was one of my heroes. And now, uh, now I've been on Bass Player Magazine twice, you know. And not just that, but um, Mr. Joe McIver, which is uh, uh, one of the editors, uh, not chief editor, uh, um, gave me the opportunity. Uh, he just hit me up, and it, it was uh, it was truly. Like he actually like asked me if it was cool, and I was like, "Are you kidding me? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, is it is it cool to say uh, a quote for the for the bass player's intimate fourth hundredth issue, the fourth hundredth is issue?" And uh, and I got to get a quote. Uh, you know, I don't want to sound pretentious, but I'm just like excited, super excited, and uh, you know, um, I'm gonna bring you guys all the news and everything I I do pretty much, you know, because uh, a lot of people 
sometimes say like you you disappear all the time on us you know you go away and uh no i'm here i'm here um uh um uh, uh, uh one of one of the Ruben Amil is a great engineer, a uh, super Grammy uh, winner, and uh, he said something very funny at one time. He went to my studio, and he and he's a he's a Tony Choi um, fan, and he loves my work. And he's like, "Man, can I can I can I ask you something?" And and and, um, and I was like, "And and and tell me something as well." And I was like, "What? Shoot, shoot you know, shoot, brother." And he's like. Uh, you, you, you have got to be one of the weirdest freaking musicians I've ever met. And I'm <laughs> like, well, I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm like, uh, well, uh, what do you mean? How so? And he's like, well, check this out. You do metal. And you know, metal fans are really territorial. They're like metal, you know? If you do anything else, you're a poser, you know? Oh, you're going to get smashed, you know, hammer fist, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm like, I'm like, he's like, you do metal, and but you can do everything else, and nobody tells you anything. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I mean, people, since I was, since I started the genre, I've always been this kid that you know we we created progressive metal as as it stands you know we were a bunch of kids listening to metal and uh sorry playing metal and listening to chick korea so if that makes any sense and and that's how progressive metal came about you know a lot of people don't know that it was a handful of us uh between chuck schuldiner uh kelly schaefer i mean roger patterson myself uh sean reiner uh, Paul Masvidal, Jason Goebel, I mean, um, you know, Mar Mark Van Erp, I mean, the list goes on and on. And, and a lot of people, you know, think that it came from it. And, 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 and it does have a territory. It did. It, it did. It, it has a place of birth. Like I say, you know, it, it does have a place of birth, uh, everybody. Uh, so, um, um, Without, with, with all due respect to all the progressive metal bands out there, it was born somewhere, and uh, and uh, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, but uh, I know that we have to wrap it up. Um, and uh, well, before just, before we do, Tony, um, are are you able to tell the audience what your what your quote was for bass player mag, or do you want to wait until it's out so that uh, people can pick it up? Um, you know what? I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave that, um, for, 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 for people to, uh, to check it out. Uh, I don't want to kind of, you know, I don't want to do a spoiler alert. All right. Uh, all right. Especially on a, you know, on a, on a, on a position and an opportunity like what Joe McIver gave me. But, uh, if Joe, if, if you listen to this, uh, I'm, you don't understand. I, we spoke about gratitude and, uh, I, I am so grateful for everything that you've done for my career, all the opportunities that you've given me. Um, I, I, I'm ever so grateful for everything that you've done. So Joe McIver, bass player magazine, um, one of, one of the, the great writers on that platform. All right. 400 issues. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, Tony. And Everyone else that uh, appears in issue 400 of Bass Player Magazine, I know that's uh, got to be a big benchmark for you as a career. Absolutely. Absolutely. Huge accomplishment. All right. Well, um, Tony, I know you got to go pretty soon here, so we'll, we'll work the outro. I know you had a musician in the studio we were hoping to get to talk to today, uh, so please invite them back next time we, we meet up for this. Uh, we're going to do this weekly, right? Yeah, we're going to do this uh, every week. Um, Friday would be uh, probably the you know we wanna and and uh, and take you into the weekend with uh, shedding light into the darkness as we say and uh, once again talk box you know um, with uh, Tony Choi you know and um, Brian in the house you know and and we just want to tell everybody thank you so very much to uh, for tuning into this first edition of talk box and. Um, a studio happens and we'll see you guys and uh we'll be tuning in soon all right thank you